taking an under on a team's season point total doesn't necessarily mean I, I think they're in for a bad year and, and won't have success this year, okay? It's just a high number and a very competitive division. So the, to me, when I look at the Maple Leafs guys, the past three years, we've seen 115 points, 111 points, and 102. For this Maple Leafs team right now, I keep saying this every year, but it's the same old adage. It's an 82-game preseason with this team. The regular season does not matter anymore at this point. You know, they have been a good regular season team, guys, but they're getting prepared for the playoffs starting next week. You know, winning one round next year or this coming season is not going to be good enough. They need to make a deep run uh, in order to satisfy their fan base, general management, players, and ownership. Uh, they brought in a new head coach in the offseason, guys, Craig Berube. Craig Berube, he is a very hard-nosed, tough coach. You know, a lot of people are saying he's quite the opposite of the coach they had last season with Sheldon Keefe. He's not your player's coach. He's not going to high-five you on the bench. He's going to be tough on you. And I think it's going to take some time for the players to get used to his systems, the strategies he's going to implement. And when they do start to follow those, they're going to have a ton of success. And I think it could happen in the playoffs as well, but it has to take time. And now you look at, at this team right now and the teams around them. The Atlantic division, guys, is the most competitive division in the NHL. And before Prez gives me the chance to say this or comes at me, I understand the team I cheer for is not good. But you look at the other teams, Buffalo, Detroit, Ottawa, these teams are all getting better. Then, of course, you have the Florida teams, Tampa Bay, uh, of course, the Florida Panthers, the defending cup champions, the Boston Bruins. There's a lot of talent around them. And my big issue with this Leafs team also is the bottom six. I don't really trust their depth. I still think they're a team built around four or five guys. And before I run too long, I'll say one more thing. They added a bunch of defensemen in the offseason. Really strong defensemen. But if you look last year in the postseason, guys, when they lost to the Boston Bruins, was the reason they lost that first round because of defense? Or because of goals? And to me, the answer is goal scoring, not as much defense. So I'm going under on this Maple Leafs team, but I feel like they're going to have a good year. It's going to take some time to adjust to the new head year. There seems to be some hype teams going into every league, whether it be NBA, NFL, NHL. This is one of them. And guess what? I'm buying the hype. And I hope it doesn't turn around on me, but I'm buying into this Nashville Predators team here. This is a team that is ready to take the next step. This is a team that's ready to move forward. They're built with veterans. And if you look at all the teams that have had success over the last many years, it's not the young teams. It's the veterans. It's the, it's the teams that have guys that have been around the block on their third and fourth line and not just young players that are breaking into the league. And they also have two players that have chips on their shoulders. The captain of the Tampa Bay Lightning, former captain of the Lightning, Steven Stamkos, gets tossed to the curb. They said, we're done with you. you know, we, were, we appreciated all the stuff you did for us as captain over the few years. We're not going to re-sign you. Well, Jonathan Marchessault with the Vegas Golden Knights, pretty much the same thing. He said in an interview over the summer, yeah, I talked to the management and they pretty much said they no longer need my services anymore. Two talented players, chips on their shoulders. And well, where do they fit in the best? On the power play. Where do the Predators struggle the most? On the power play. They have a great defensive core, one of the best goalies in the league. And to me, a team that's built and ready to take that next level. We're going to go up and over the season point total for the Nashville Predators and watch out for them this year. I think they're going to make the playoffs and actually make a pretty good run this season.